I had hoped that we would, would have time to broaden this discussion out onto some other things, and I do just want to, to, to quickly deal with participation, because I think it's important. It ties in with, with some of the other comments we've had about uh, its cooperation within the concept of the IGF, people not being here, and so on. So, sir. Yeah, thank you. Um, Willie Curry from the Association for Progressive Communication. Okay. Hold the microphone up like this, close to your mouth. Um, better. Um, I'm going to talk about a, a workshop that was working towards a code of good practice on public participation in Internet governance. Uh, this is not strictly uh, a matter of uh, public policy principles in terms of enhanced cooperation, but looks more at procedural arrangements with respect to Internet governance. And the, uh, the aim of this workshop was to work towards a code of practice on public participation, transparency, and access to knowledge or information uh, within internet governance uh, institutions. Um, and the idea is to see if as many as possible of the institutions that are dealing with internet governance could adopt this code of practice. Within the workshop, there was an agreement that the next steps would involve a comparative mapping of exactly how our internet governance institutions are treating access to information, transparency, and public participation. And the second step would then be to draft a code of good practice um, and uh, to take it forward from there. The organizations that are leading this process are the Council of Europe, the UN Economic Commission for Europe, and the APC. Um, some of the institutions represented here, the NRO, ICANN, and ISOC, have agreed to participate in the uh, comparative mapping process. And this is not to deal with the, the, the exact content of under discussion here, but I would like to say that as a civil society organization, APC does associate itself with the remarks of Ian Peters from the Internet Governance Caucus, of uh, Guru and Parminda from IT for Change, and of Milton Mueller from the Internet Governance Project. Thank you. Thank you very much.